Hey, Spirit Sisters, right back at you. Today is Legs Day. Um, today we're working on overloading your major muscle groups, your glute muscles, your quadriceps, and hamstrings. These are your largest muscles in your body, and when you overload them, you actually, it's like giving your uh, metabolism mm -hmm. a super, super uh, charged boost, okay? It will burn calories for you uh, at a higher rate for about 24 to 36 hours after this workout, okay? So, let's get warmed up a little bit. We don't want to just start blasting out these muscles. We want to get warmed up a little bit. Smack your back. Let's draw some booty circles. Beautiful. Booty circles, booty circles. Warming up those abs a little bit. Stretch out those legs. So you want to always warm up, girls, before your workout with dynamic movement. So, and we will cool down. We will cool down with static stretches, okay? All right. So, the first thing we're going to do is work on our uh, monthly challenge, which is all about squats. So remember when you are in the squat position, you want to bring the booty back behind you, just like you're gonna sit on a chair and lower down. Let me get where you can see me good. I don't know. Uh, change that camera angle just a bit. There we go. So you're going to come bring the booty out behind you like you're going to sit down on a chair back here. You want to make sure your knee placement is correct. You do not want to have this form when you're doing squats. You want to make sure that you are lowering down and knee stays virtually over top, as close to or over top your ankle as you can get it. So the way you keep that knee in proper form to keep it from going this way is stretch it out, put that booty back. When you put the booty back, that brings the knee back to where it needs to be. Okay? Be All right. physical. There she is. So we're going for our 15 partial squats here. Three, four, five. Tuck those abs in tight, squeeze your buns tight. Warming it up just a little bit. I, I'm not going to count. I'm going to give us some more warm up time. We will count on the next round. Yeah, that means we can keep going. Vital. There she is. One, two, three, four, five, six, straight up, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, good job. Take a breather. Breathe and breathe and breathe. We went for a full one minute interval doing some work there. Get ready to go for our 12 full body squats, which is trying to get that booty down, keeping it about parallel with the floor, right? That's our full body. Be bigger. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Push it straight Be up. Confident. Awesome. Good job, girls. Our next one is a sumo squat. So you're going to step it out wide, toes point out at an angle, and you're going to come down right back up. We're going to try to do 15 of those, okay? 
So you're not, on this one, you do not want to be leaning forward. I'm going to try to lower down and push it straight back up. Be flexible. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Exhale up. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Woo Good job. We got this, girls. Our bonus move now is the goddess squat. So you're going to try to come down a little bit deeper, open up wide, and see if you can lower down a little bit deeper than what you were doing in that sumo squat. Okay? You may or may not be able to. It's okay. We're gonna to try to get at least two of those goddess squats or really full deep body Dynamic. sumos. Try to get down low, push it straight back up. Only going for two here, but I believe we can get more. If you can just get two, that's okay. Trying to go deep, deep, deep. Exhale. You're pushing straight up. Be active. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Uh, let's see. Booty and legs today. So we're going to go for a forward lunge. When you are in the forward lunge, girls, remember. Try not to let that knee travel, okay? Lunge, try to keep that knee above the ankles here on the leg that's forward. And we'll switch it off side Be to side. Beautiful. Here we go. Now you can do just a little short lunge in the beginning, right? You've never done lunges before. Little tiny range of motion. See, just a little bit. That's okay, absolutely fine. If you got more, go a little bit deeper. The end of that lunge. Be consistent. Okay, let's take a break here, just for a second. Give us a drink of water. Next time, we're going to do the backward lunge. So we're going to step back, lunge it down, and back, and lunge. Little bit different, switching up that forward lunge to backwards. Now move away from your station, find your heart rate, get ready for Check a 10 heart rate second out. count. Let's see how we're doing. Ready, three, two, one, count. Stop, move to the next station, and resume. All right, so setting. remember, your goal is to get that heart rate up to that 80% zone. When you are up there in the 80% zone, your heart rate, when it's that high, it is, it, it is really supercharging your metabolism to burn stored fat. That's what we want. Okay, so quickly, in case you don't remember, Laurel, uh, 40, if you're 40 something, you want to get your heart rate up to, if you're counting Eat that 10 second count. count, to 24, 45 zone, 23, 50, 23, 55, 22, 60, 21, 65, 21, 70, 20, 75, 19, and 80 is 19. And yes, I said 80 because we have members in this gym that we've been blessed with that are above the 80 mark. Isn't that awesome? That is so awesome. It's never too late, girls. Physical. 
All right, we're going to step back and lunge. Switch it off. Back and back and lunge. Exhale, coming up out of the lunge. Step it, lunge, step it. Be vital. All right, so now we're going to come out into a side lunge. Toes are pointing forward on this, just like when you're doing your side lunge stretch when you're cooling down, girls. Keep those toes pointing forward. That keeps your knee in proper alignment. So remember, booty is kind of out behind you here. Peace. All right. The next move we're gonna do, I'll demo, is a curtsy lunge. So we're gonna step behind and lunge. Just like you were curtsying before the Queen of England. Okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep that blood pumping. Keep your heart rate up. Keep moving. We're waiting. Be vigorous. Waiting on Tanya. All right, you're stepping back. Try to keep. The knees pointing forward here. Don't let them do something squirrely. Try to keep both knees pointing forward, toes pointing forward. Keep those knees in alignment. Exhale up. Be confident. And one more. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, what we got coming up next? We're gonna do ready, set, go. This is the runner's pose. So we're gonna step right foot back, left hand comes back to start with. Hold your core tight, okay? Be flexible. All right, right foot. Left hand is back. So if you've got a good deep range here, go for it. Do a little bit less right here. It's all right, it's all good, right? Remember what we've talked about many, many times. You wanna start where your fitness level is. Got that big range, stretch it out. Be energetic. All right, let's switch to the other side. Now, left foot back, right hand back. Little short steps here. If you're just a beginner in this, little tiny short steps. Little bit deeper if you're very familiar with it. And if you got more, wider. Step out wide, bring the knee up higher. Be dynamic. All right, good job. Okay, that was the runner's pose. Now we're going to come down into a squat with front kick. I'm going to switch those kicks off side to side. So we'll come up, palms face each other. When we're down in our squat, palms are up. They're back when we come up for the kick, okay? Doing a good job, girls. Hang on. We got Be this. Active. Here we go. <sighs> Exhale. Come on up out of that squat. Remember your form. Keep your abs tight. Keep your glute muscles tight. Work hard. Work strong. Sparkle girls, sparkle. We got this. We got this, sisters. I promise we do. We can so Be do this. Beautiful. Good job. Good job. All right. 
love handle side raise. So this is where, if you've got a chair handy to hold on to, you may need to in the beginning. We're gonna bend that knee. We're gonna raise it out. Trying to keep the knees parallel with one another. Try to keep the knee pointing downward, not traveling out here, but pointing downward. Be there. consistent. There we go. We got this. Reach out and hold on if you need to. Find you something to hold on to. It's all good. If you need to tap down, that's all right too. Keep going. Doing two classes back to back, I'm starting to feel it. All right, let's switch sides now. Get your balance. Point that knee down, bring the knees back parallel and side by side. So you don't want to let your knees travel this way in this move or back. Keep that knee pointing down. Exhale as you're coming out into that leg raise. Target right here. Now move away from your station. Find your heart rate. Check Get your ready heart rate for out. a 10 second go. count. Ready? Three, two, one, count. I am where I need to be. I hope you are. Exercising. Okay. Toe heel rock. So we're going to come up on our tippy toes here. Rock it back on our heels. Tippy toes and heels. Squeeze it all up tight. Now when you rock back on your heels, girls, you do not want to be back like this. That is our natural tendency. Tuck those abs tight. Pull the booty under. Keep it tight. Be physical. Okay, good job. Good job, good job. All right, so this next move is a little bit strenuous. If you cannot do it on the mat with me, it's called donkey kicks. So donkey kicks are you can actually do this off of the chair. For those of you who are beginners in this move, grab your chair, hold on. Be vital. And you're gonna put your left foot right in front of the chair. Bring your back foot up until the uh, arch of your foot snugs into your heel. Kick it out behind you. Right like that. All right, so you can come down to the mats with me. So we're gonna push up sleep. to down dog. We're gonna bring the right foot forward here. Let's have our hands on either side of our foot. Bring the left foot in, kick it up. This is really tough for those who have a problem with balance, so I would suggest that you do this with the chair. The aid of the chair will help you. If you can't do it at all, it's okay. Pass this one up. No worries. She vigorous. All right, let's change sides. This time we're standing on our left leg and we're kicking up the right one. you're standing on, the knee stays slightly bent. Be confident. Okie dokie. Let's see how we're doing on our timing. All right, we're doing good. So here's our next one, girls. It is plies with a toe drag. 
hands on your hips. Step out, come down into your sumo squat with the toes pointing outward. And then you're gonna slide that foot across to you. Tap heels together into that plie. Then we'll do our other side, okay? Be flexible. Okay, step out to sumo. Squat as you're coming up. Drag that toe over, other side. Drag. Step, squat, drag. Step, squat, drag. Step, squat, drag. Step, step. Be energetic. Good job, good job. So next one, we're going to do lunge, lunge, squat. Three moves. So we're going to lunge, lunge, squat. Got that? For sure you did. No problems, right? Look at some of these dynamic. Here we go. Lunge. Overloading the big guns today, girls. Remember that. And squat. Lunge. And lunge. And squat. Lunge. And lunge. And squat. And lunge. And lunge. And squat. And you want to exhale, pushing up out of these moves. Be active. Okay, good job, good job. So our next move, we're going to go just a little bit different from the um, curtsy lunge. We're going to do crossover lunge. So instead of stepping the foot back like you do in the curtsy, you're going to bring it over and lunge, okay? Be beautiful. Here we go. Step over and lunge. Step over and lunge. And over. And over. And over. So the further that you could step out and over, the deeper you can go into that lunge. Or you can consistent. keep it close and small like that right there. It's up to you. Alrighty. So, next one is, we're going to go back to those mats now. You can do these side kicks. They're called fire hydrants. You can do them standing by holding on, bending the leg, okay? And then when we kick backward, right like this, okay? You can go to your knees, you do these standing. All right, we're gonna bring the side out for eight, seven, six, five, Four, knee is bent. Three, two, one. Now kick that same leg backward, point your toe. Little pulses here. One, two, three, four. Now flex the foot. One, two, three, four. Be physical. Okay, let's switch sides on those fire hydrants. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, stay strong, squeeze your vines, point. One, two, three, four, flex the foot. Four, three, two, one. Push it back here for rest. Be vital. All right, so we're gonna come up into bear. With in bear. Your knees are hovering right above the mat, okay? Then we're gonna push them back to down dog and right back to bear. 
Girls, you can do this one off the wall. And here's how you can do it off the wall. So you step back and you come down into your squat and then you push it back. Now move away from your station, find your heart rate, get ready for a 10 squat, second count. And push back. Ready? Three, squat, two, one, your hands count. need to be about midline of your chest there. Okay? So our next one, we're going to hinge forward a little bit Stop, at the hips. Move to the next station and, we're going to and zoom tap. exercising. Two, three, four, and booty bump. Two, three, four, tap. Two, three, four, booty bump. Two, three, four, tap. Two, three, four, bump. Whoop, 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 tap. As my daddy would say, amazing. Yes, ma'am. Strong women of excellence who are slap dab amazing. You know, people from other countries, especially if they don't know Appalachian English, they're going to say, What in the world was Be that possible. about? Slap dab. What does it mean? What does it mean? I don't know. Okay, so ladies, um, here's what I need you to do because we practice your challenge in this class, right? So, if you did, if, if here's what I need you to do because I'm going to explain it and try to keep it simple so that everybody's on the same page and it's all good. I'm going to disregard all of the, well, not disregard, but... I'm going to tell you that we're starting from the beginning because we've had this slight interruption in this challenge, okay? So, from the beginning, if you did 15 of those partial squats with me today, then I need you when you sign in on the comments line, which is directly underneath the link uh, that I'm gonna put up with this class, I need you to say, uh, you can uh, put a one in parentheses. That way I know first challenge accomplished. Be dynamic. If you did 12 full body squats in that 30 second interval, then you put two in parentheses. If you did 15 sumo squats, then you put three, because that's week three's challenge, in parentheses. If you did at least two, of those deep body sumos or goddess squats, uh, if you did at least two, then you put four in parentheses, along with, of course, your date and your time that you are checking in with me. Once again, let me reiterate because people are giving me, I'm getting uh, check-in times that is a post all its own. I'm getting check-in times on our Spirit Sisters private message, group message page, 
Uh, somebody uh, told me about a check-in there. The people have private messaged me with their check-in time. Please, ladies, Beautiful. I'm begging you. I know it's a lot of trouble, but for my sanity to keep me from having to look everywhere for your check-ins, please remember and put them under the comments or on the comments, which are directly underneath the class link on our Spirit Sisters Sparkle and Share page. Once again, let me invite new members and tell you ladies that if you know of anybody who would like to join Spirit Strong, they can do so right now at an awesome rate. I am waiving the sign up fee, the processing fee completely um, because that processing fee totally covers uh, getting them trained on the equipment. And since they cannot physically be here right now for me to do that, then we are going to waive that processing fee. So it's a great time to join Spirit Strong. So they will uh, have them private message me um, if they are interested in joining. I can work out their payment with them online. We can do a uh, uh, release of liability through email. It's all good. Um, it'll, it, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of whatever I can do to help folks out because people are sitting at home right now and girls, you know very well that we need to de-stress through exercise. So this is a stressful time for everybody. And first off, first and foremost, pray, 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 girls, because that's our, my first thing that we need, you know, I try to do all the time, every day, is get that good spirit connection going so that I really feel assured and uh, connected that uh, the day's going to go well. It goes better for me when I do that, I have noticed. So, um, but then our exercise is, is optimum. Let me know if you would like me to do a class on um, or on anything that you would like for me to talk about as far as nutrition goes. And uh, if I don't know the answers that you've got, I will um, definitely research the information and um, I'll try to do uh, a class on that. I'm thinking that um, maybe one on sugar and sugar content would be good. Uh, getting you used to reading your labels. You know that uh, prepackaged and processed foods are chock full of, of preservatives, sodiums and sugars, hidden sugars and all that. So that might be a good one to do. Let me know um, if you would like to see something like that. I can surely provide it. Okay, have a great day, be blessed, be graced, and thank you for joining me today in Sparkle and Strong. Love ya, bye.